kept since the crime. The DNA tests have been observed on behalf of the Hanratty family by Dr. Patrick Lincoln. Even after 34 years, DNA testing could prove conclusively who was the A6 murderer. There has been success in that the DNA has been extracted um, from one of the exhibits, and that has now been used um, in a first set of tests to try and identify the structures of the DNA found in that stained material. Um, the results of those first tests, uh, we have not been able to identify the structures. But uh, there are other testings that we can do, and uh, we shall progress with those. Further tests will be carried out. Once a DNA profile has been constructed, it would need to be compared. A profile of Hanratty could be obtained from his mother and brothers. But what about Alphonse? He has always refused to give samples in the past, but um, he could now be legally compelled to give them. It may well be that they would think it appropriate to obtain samples from Peter Alphon, which um, could establish one way or the other uh, whether he had been uh, involved in, in this uh, affair or not. Whatever the outcome of the tests, there remain abundant grounds for further legal action. The other evidence we've now submitted to the Home Secretary is quite sufficient for him to send the case back to the Court of Appeal and for the Court of Appeal to quash the conviction. But none of this was known to Han Ratty's lawyers as they pleaded for his life in 1962. I went to the Home Office. I uh, discussed the case at very great length. They listened attentively. I, I found that uh, they were very thoroughly familiar with the case itself and the material that was not adduced at the trial. I had expected that there would be a reprieve. In the event, there was no reprieve. I, I was very upset. On the morning of the execution, a small crowd gathered at Bedford Prison. And then the moment came. It was a, a very fraught moment. And over on the left, about uh, uh, five yards away, was the platform uh, with the drop, with the hole. Uh, and uh, uh, on the right, again about five yards away, directly opposite, was the door through which uh, the condemned man would come. Uh, and uh, he did. He came in with the two uh, executioners. They had already bound uh, his hands behind his back. He was marched to the platform, uh, and uh, marched is the, perhaps the right word, because um, strut is almost the word. He was clearly putting a very, very brave face on it. Dear Mum and Dad, I still find it very hard to believe what is about to happen. But Mum, I promise you that I will face it like a man. And I'm sure that is the way you and Dad would want it. Mum, the time is getting near. And when it comes, I will be thinking of you and Dad. And that will give me lots of courage and strength. Until we meet again, you will always be in my thoughts. God bless you all. Your ever-loving son, Jim. By now, uh, the flower like, sack, like a flower sack, has been put over his head while the other uh, executioner is adjusting a similar bit of rope round his legs. Uh, and then the chief executioner arranged the knot an important feature, I imagine, but, uh, and then uh, he stood clear, pulled a lever, reminding one a little bit of the old-fashioned signalman's lever. The floor dropped away, the trap dropped away, down went Hanratty. 